Hello, it is LaToya here and welcome back to the next video in my series, the Your First Apartment 101 series. And this is part two, where we're going to focus on location. Location, location, location is so important. So we're gonna dive into that today. Um, if you're watching this on IGTV, welcome back. If you're watching on my YouTube, hello to my old and new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that button. It's totally free. And then you can hit the bell button. That'll notify you of the next video that drops in this series. It's gonna be, I'm thinking a five part series. We'll see how it goes. But um, four to five part series of different aspects that you need to consider when looking for your first apartment or moving out for the first time. So yeah, join the party. The first part of this series was finances. If you didn't check that out, be sure to do so. But once you have all your finances together, you've got your budget, you know how much you want your rent to be, you know how much you can afford, then you can start looking at what locations um, measure up to those requirements that you have. So the first thing that I wanna tackle in terms of location is commute. Um, you're gonna be working most likely five days a week. So you want your commute to work not to be a headache and a hassle. You know, you just, you don't want that to be something that is like a negative part of your day, especially that's how you're starting off your day. So think about the commute that you are willing to take when it comes to um, moving. So do you want your commute to be an hour to 45 minutes or are you like, I do not wanna commute to work more than 15 to 20 minutes? Um, so think about that and then use that um, time or distance to start looking for your place within that radius. So that's number one, commute. And then also think about um, if you have to take public transportation, how far is the public transportation from where you are going to live. Uh, for me, thankfully, I can walk five minutes across the street to the train station. It's super, super convenient. Um, but some people might have to drive to get to the train station or whatever form of public transportation you're taking. Um, if you're driving, think about like traffic, like is your commute going to, is, do you, are you going to live 20 minutes away from your job, but because of traffic, your commute is actually going to be 45 minutes. Um, think about those things, do the math and see what works best for you. So the first thing I would say is think about your commute to work. The second thing that you wanna consider is what type of environment do you wanna live in? Are you more of a city person? Or are you more of a suburb person? Do you want to live, you know, where it's hustling and bustling, always things going on, going on. you know, do you wanna live in like a high rise type of apartment? Or are you more laid back? Do you like it quiet? Do you want trees and grass outside? Um, more suburban feel. So consider that when you're doing your house hunting. And if you're not sure, um, definitely check out both options if they're available for where you're looking um, and weigh out the pros and cons for yourself. The third thing that you wanna consider is cost of living. And that kind of plays into city versus suburban as well. Cause a lot of times living in more of a city um, environment with a lot of restaurants and bars is going to be more expensive than living in a suburban um, neighborhood. And also, if you're moving to a different city or state, cost of living could be totally different. I know for me, um, cost of living for where I moved to is way more expensive than where I moved from. And for me to figure that out, i pretty sure I googled like cost of living in Washington DC and found this website where you could like plug in where you're like moving from and moving to and it would give you like a side by side comparison of how much like grocery store items were compared to the new location. Um, it also compared like restaurants like you know a happy hour drink in New Jersey versus a happy hour drink in DC. Um, it also just did yeah like random grocery items like a bag of potatoes compared and contrasted that, um, a fast food meal compared and contrasted that. So I saw like, and was able to anticipate what the difference in cost would be. And then um, the other thing with cost of living, like where I live, um, when you go to the grocery store, 
I think it's like five, an extra five cents, which isn't that big of a deal, but it costs five cents to get a plastic bag when you go shopping um, because they want you to use reusable bags, which is great by the way, I love that. But um, those are just small things that you wanna like research and consider when you're moving to a completely different place and you don't, and you wanna be able to prepare what your spending habits are going to be like once you get there. The next thing that you wanna look at is your safety and security. Obviously, you know, when you go apartment hunting, you're going to, you know, look at the apartment, talk to the leasing agent, all of that. You wanna also consider not just what's in the building, but what's outside of the building. What does the surrounding area of the building look like? Um, is it next to some like sketchy streets or are there like people like hanging out outside the front door of where you would be, you know, walking into your apartment and would you feel safe um, doing that like late at night? Um, think about like parking, for example. Um, does your apartment have a parking lot or do you have to use street parking? And again, like if you have to use street parking and park a block away, but it's late at night and you have to walk to your apartment um, by yourself, like those are things to consider. Um, also just like the security features that your apartment offers. Is there like, is it like locked entry and they have like a security desk? And so like people can't just walk in. Is it like key card access to get into the building? Um, and then like when you go to visit the apartment, take a drive around the neighborhood. Even if you're like looking for a spot to eat, like pay attention to like what is around the neighborhood. Um, where do you feel like is like the point to which you would be comfortable traveling by yourself and again, traveling late at night. Um, just look at like the surrounding area to see if that's a place where you would feel safe living. Another great resource that you could use when it comes to when you're moving to a new location is YouTube. Um, that's what I did. I typed in, you know, like experience living in Washington, DC, and a bunch of videos came up where people, you know, talked about their experiences, having lived there for a couple years, or they just moved there, or, and that's where I actually found out a lot of information about like plastic bags costing money and, you know, different things about cost of living and, certain areas that were like safe and what to look for and just different details that you would only know from like a local and not from just a regular Google search. So definitely like hop on YouTube, see if there are any videos or extra information or insight from people that you can um, find out information from. And then also um, if you know of anybody or you know someone who knows someone who has lived in that area before, definitely reach out and ask to get their feedback. Um, I got a lot of suggestions of different like towns to look into when I was doing my apartment hunting um, from people that I knew or from you know a friend's cousin or whoever it was. I um, definitely like collected all that information and used that for my apartment search. Additionally to um, aid in your apartment hunting as well. There a lot of times there are different Facebook groups. Um, I found a Facebook group that was like, um, it was basically a Facebook group of people that were either looking for roommates or they were uh, trying to sublease sub sub -lease their apartment or um, you know, they yeah needed someone to like take over their lease or whatever. So um, that's how I found out about it, a lot of different areas and different places. And actually how I found the place that I'm in today, um, someone was looking to sublease their apartment. I ended up not doing that, but I liked the building that they were in. So that ended up working in my favor as well. So definitely use all the resources that you have, um, YouTube, Facebook, Google, people, and get all the information so you can make an informed decision about what location you're going to move to. And then lastly, I just wanted to tack this onto this video, um, just cause it's about, you know, moving to a completely different place that you haven't lived before. Um, someone had asked me on Instagram about making new friends in a new location. And so um, my suggestions for that would be you know, see what events are going on. Right now we're all like quarantined, so there's really like nothing going on. But 
You can even see if there's like a vir cool virtual event that involves like local people that's around a subject that you're interested in. So for me, when I first got here, I was looking for like natural hair um, events and meetups and things so I can like meet people that are in the same area as me that were interested in some of the same things. In addition to that, you could also use apps like um, Bumble BFF and that's a cool way to be able to like meet people that are directly in your area. And especially in like a city like Washington DC, a lot of people move to DC and not necessarily from DC. So a lot of people are like on the app looking to meet people as well. So those are the tips that I have for you today on location. Let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions or things you want me to touch on. And I will see you guys in part three of this series. I'll see you next time. Bye.